I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. If there's one thing that holds true about having a saltwater aquarium, it's that at some point, something's gonna go wrong with your tank. No matter how much you over-engineer things or set up fail-safes, or maybe you just flat out deny that it'll ever happen to you, yeah right, get real, at some point, something's gonna go wrong with your tank. And we don't know when it's gonna happen, so the best thing that you can do is to be prepared. So in this episode of Mr. Saltwater Tank TV, I'm gonna be showing you what you can do to plan for an emergency with your tank. Now, I'm gonna be covering a whole lot of information today. So to make sure that you have everything you need in case you have an emergency with your tank, I made a check sheet that you can use as a guide. To get the check sheet, go to my website, mrsaltwatertank.com slash tank emergency, and you can download the sheet. And it'll have everything that you need to think about to make sure that you're prepared for the worst case scenario. The first step in disaster planning for your tank is to always have salt water on hand, mixed up, ready to go. If something's going wrong with your tank, you don't wanna be on here mixing up salt water, checking specific gravity, and making sure that this salt's gonna be ready to go for your tank. You're gonna hear me say this a lot today, but in an emergency, time is precious. So we wanna be able to walk on here, grab this jug, walk back inside, and take care of whatever we might need to with our tank. And for me, it's actually part of my water change routine is that as soon as this bucket, which I use to mix up my salt water is empty, it comes right back down here in my garage, RODI water comes in, I mix up a fresh batch of salt. Oh, and mark your salt water bucket, salt water. That way when you're in a hurry, you can grab it and take off. Another key step in disaster planning for your tank is to always have lots of RODI water on hand ready to go. If the worst happens, you don't want to have to be waiting on your RODI unit to make water. You want it to be ready to go. If you need it, you got it. Speaking of RODI water, another important step is to make sure that your RODI unit is completely up to snuff. So if your filters are starting to get old, go ahead and replace them. If you have an emergency, you don't want to be pulling out filters because you're noticing that your TDS is creeping up. You want to keep your RODI unit humming along as clean and as perfect and ready to go as possible. You never know if a tank related emergency is going to require you to take your fish and your corals out of your aquarium. For that reason, I recommend that you have a spare tank like this one sitting around ready to go. Now that might not be practical for you, so here's a good stand-in item. A spare cooler. Chances are you already have a cooler in the garage from tailgating or from camping, and they're great because they're made to keep whatever's inside of them warm or cold. Now in our case, we're trying to keep the fish warm, so they're great items to have around. Now just make sure that your cooler is clean and ready to go, because again, if we're dealing with our tanks, we don't want to be dealing with cleaning a cooler. Now, even though that cooler is made to keep things warm, over time, it's going to cool off. So you're going to want to have a spare heater on hand, ready to go at all times, just in case. The heater is going to keep that water warm, which is going to mean less stress on your fish. Less stressed fish, less disease prone fish. You're already going to be stressing them out enough in an emergency. You don't need to complicate things anymore. Now, speaking of stressed fish, that brings me to my next point. Since they're stressed, they're gonna be breathing harder. So you're gonna to wanna to have an air wand, an air bubbler on hand and ready to go too. This will make sure that there's plenty of oxygen in that water for your fish to breathe. Again, we're trying to reduce their stress as much as possible, which brings me to my next point. And speaking of placing less stress on your fish in an emergency, something else to have on hand is extra rock that you can put in your cooler or holding tanks. This rock will give your fish somewhere to hide and the more places they have to hide, the less stress that they're gonna feel. Less stressed fish, less disease prone fish, better for you. A power outage is one of the most common tank emergencies. And unfortunately, we don't know when the power company is gonna turn the power back on. So the best case scenario is for you to have a generator on hand for you to use. Now, that might not be practical for you. So another solution is to have a battery based backup system to power your pumps while the power is out. And a lot of times these are sold for computers. Now these work okay, but there's a downfall to them. They have to convert AC power to DC power, which is a pretty wasteful process. So here's another workaround. For those of you who have Vortec pumps, Ecotec Marine, the maker of the Vortec pumps, actually make a battery backup system like this one. And what's great about this battery backup system is that this stores DC power. So we don't have to do that wasteful AC to DC conversion. That means that this battery pack will power their pumps for up to 72 hours. And 72 hours is more than enough time for you to deal with a tank emergency. So generator is best, 
battery backup system for those of you who have the Vortec pumps, second best. Computer-based backup system, third best. Of all the equipment to have on hand in a tank emergency, the one that's most important is a tank controller. A tank controller is constantly watching your tank, so it's going to instantly know if there's something wrong with your tank. For that reason, I say they're first responders for your tank. Now, I found about 30% of people who own a tank also own a controller. If you're part of that 30%, congrats. You're smart and you're ahead of the game. For you 70%ers out there, listen up, because this is for you. Chances are you don't own a controller for one of two reasons. Number one, you think they're too expensive, or number two, you think they're not needed. Or maybe you don't own a controller for both of those reasons. Here's how an emergency plays out if you don't have a tank controller. Say your sump overflows and there is water around your tank. The next thing that is going to happen is that your return pump is going to be running out of the water. Soon it's going to seize up because it's overheating and potentially it'll catch fire. Meanwhile, your tank is getting fried because your lights are cooking your tank. The next thing to go, your high dollar SPS and fish. Now your tank is becoming a biology experiment that you get to clean up. This is not good news. You don't want to have to deal with a tank emergency like this one. The good news is the sump overflow can be managed with a tank controller. I use and recommend the Neptune System Apex Tank Controller because it's easiest to set up and it's a lifesaver in tank emergencies. You can even set it up to email and text message you when something goes wrong with your tank. So no matter where you are in the world, you will be notified when something goes wrong with your tank. Here's how our sump overflow scenario plays out if you had an apex. Your sump overflows and your apex detects a problem. First, it sounds an alarm inside your house to alert you if you are home. Then it emails and text messages you to let you know about the problem. Even if you aren't home, you are notified immediately of the issue and you can respond immediately. Next, the apex turns off your return pump to keep it from burning up and it turns off your lights so your tank doesn't fry. Next step, only run the essential equipment like power heads that keep your fish and corals alive. Oh, and all this happens automatically. Best of all, you can access your apex while you're away from your house. In our sump scenario, you're notified about the water on the floor so you can notify your on-call tank buddy or neighbor and have them go check out what's wrong. I just nabbed a sweet deal for you 70 percenters out there. Neptune Systems is letting me sell Apex controllers directly to you. Now this offer is only good between now and December 15th. Between now and December 15th, if you buy an Apex controller from me, I will personally help you set it up and configure it for your tank. No more going online looking for answers and getting 30 different opinions about how to do something. I'll personally have you up and rolling in 20 minutes flat. Now this offer is only good until December 15th. To pick up your Apex, go to www.mrsaltwatertank.com slash Apex. Remember, a tank controller is a must-have piece of equipment for you to be prepared for a tank emergency. The last thing we would want is for anything to happen with our precious tanks. But remember, it's inevitable. At some point in your tank career, something will go wrong. The best thing that you can do is to be prepared. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. To take advantage of the Apex offer, go to mrsaltwatertank.com slash Apex before December 15th. Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.